Howdy howdy. This is the Eternal Black. This is my first video and we are playing World of Warships. So let's take a look at the matchmaking here. Uh, not bad. Um, not great, but not bad. It's pretty standard. Uh, we are tier 8. We are middle tier. We got 9s and 7s. Uh, we got 4 destroyers, 4 cruisers, 4 battleships, no CV. So uh, that's not bad. So let's take a look. Uh, let's get an idea. So Otago is um, it's, it's it's a very powerful ship, but it, uh, it it does have some pretty significant weaknesses. Uh, first and foremost is her range. She only has 15.8 kilometers of range, so um, you are going to be reasonably close if you're going to be uh, fighting enemy battleships. Um, so you need to be ready to kite. Um, one thing that this ship is really good at is wiggling her butt. She has an excellent um, rudder shift time, so she's able to get her, uh, if you have incoming fire, then you're generally able to uh, turn in or turn away. Um, her turning circle is kind of big, um, so dodging torpedoes is a little bit of an issue sometimes, but it's far from impossible. Um, and her speed is usable, it's not bad, uh, it's 34, 35? I'll let it build up speed and figure it out. Alright, so, um, yeah. Our role here is uh, supporting our destroyers if possible and uh, generally just trying to be a menace. The Otago is excellent at setting fires and she has excellent concealment. So if we are going to uh, go up against an enemy cruiser then uh, we just need to be choosy about who we fight and when. Alright, so C is completely off the table. Um, everyone is going A or B. Um, it's good to reinforce to the rest of your team uh, where you're going. Um, it just, it, it really solidifies, I mean, alright, so when you're playing World of Warships, pretend like you're playing with a bunch of brain-dead cockroaches. They're going to go in every which direction as soon as you flip the light on. Um, depending on people to be where they need to be, when they need to be there, uh, that's, that's not healthy. You will go absolutely insane. So, <clears throat> uh, with that in mind, going to do our best. Alright, so, uh, one thing with the Otago is, uh, her shells are very floaty. So, man, I slowed down at the last minute. So, her shells are very floaty, so you have to, I mean, y'all are bunched up. If y'all get torped, y'all are in trouble. Um, you gotta have a really solid, uh, grip. Are you, uh, metaphorically, you have to have a really sharp, uh, gunnery officer. You have to know, uh, how long it's going to take for your shells to hit? You got to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you still going backwards? No, you're going forwards. All right, so these may or may not hit. I might not have given enough lead. Ooh. No, it's good. So, but as you can see, whenever they do hit, they hit hard. Uh, do not want to beach. All right. Now, one thing about the Otago is she has pretty shit armor. Um, if you're going up against uh, cruisers, uh, cruiser AP, American AP is a little bit special, Pensacola is kind of a menace, but um, cruiser AP in general, you can bounce. Battleship AP, not so much. Um, the Otago, see here, I want to put up my plane. Anyone else have a plane up? Nope. Alright, so my plane's going up. Um, that doesn't sound good. So, um, yeah, if, you, if you're in an Otago and you find yourself under fire from an enemy battleship, just, just run. You you don't want nothing none of them have to offer. It's not your business. It's not your problem. Um, I'm going right into those torpedoes. I don't know their range. Let's see here. That was a, a, a Loyang? No, Yugumo. No, that was a Loyang. So a Loyang and a Harakaze, um, both of which are well out of range, so no stress there. Um, Harakazi, can I actually hit from that range? Am I that good? Oh, it doesn't matter, he faded into nothing. So, I am paying ex playing extremely passive here. I'm not really proud of that. Um, I wanted that Missouri to get the hell away. Uh, now that the Missouri is out of the way, we can actually get in a little bit closer and see if we can destroy some of these uh, destroyers here. Um, Chapayev, nah. Uh, Turpitz, his uh, dispersion is too shit to actually be of any consequence. And the Missouri, while a problem, he's about to get focus fired uh, pretty heavily. So, all right, 
I was way too low. fire and I think that one's gonna stick all right uh, okay so Prince Eugen is he aiming he's not aiming at me all right so you can afford to give a little bit of broadside there all right so main threats Prince Eugen to our left and destroyers to our right um, oh all right so New Orleans hopefully will take care of that all right so we're actually going to go for this Prince Eugen because our Kagero needs our help. So, get the shells out, and I really wish I had uh, Expert Loader here, because uh, that would be an excellent opportunity for AP. Um, but he hasn't turned out, so... It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Okay, please don't aim at me. Please don't aim at me. He's out just a little bit. All right, let's get the head of shells out. Let's see what happens here. Oh, was that enough lead? Was that enough lead? That was enough lead. Oh, seven over pens. God damn, that was plenty of lead. It was just too damn, uh... Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. Um, Belfast, Fiji, you gonna do your thing? Nope, you're hiding behind islands, even though there's nothing to hide from. Well done. Okay, so it is going to be our job to take care of this little Yang. I can't... I cannot stay broadside to him because he's putting out AP. Uh, two or three HE, go do your thing. Alright, there's a fire. Uh, we are on fire, but it's not the end of the world. Um, we are going to be chasing down an Algier, apparently. Uh, not exactly how I'd spend my Friday afternoon, but we do have a, uh, a uh, HP advantage. French rifles are no joke, though. Okay. I know. I know. I know. Gonna have to go just a little bit broadside here. Alright. I know. This 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 low yang is a problem. He's he's putting out too much DPM. Die please. Thank you. All right. We're on two fires. Turpets. Ooh, that turpets could really hurt me. Ooh, that turpets could really hurt me. Ooh, turpets out. Turpets out. Turpets out. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I I don't want to be broadside to a turpets. Okay. All right. That'll work. Um, so much for playing passive. Okay. Now that Chapayev, that Chapayev can be a problem. I'm on fire for the foreseeable future. Um, can I get behind the cover necessary? Nope, this is gonna hurt. Okay. Okay. And here we have an excellent example of the Otago uh, concealment. Um, I was in deep shit, and now I'm not. I did my best to keep the turpits at a uh, long enough range that I could disengage if I wanted to, and now I can. I have two heals left over. The majority of my damage has been fire damage. All i got to do is wait for this to load back up. And I can load all that back up, too. All right, so we did what we needed to do. We capped B, we ran off the enemy destroyer, we ran off the enemy cruiser, and uh, we are still down one cap, um, and we need to cap C. Is anyone doing that? Tashkent. I'm actually not... I'm, I don't... I don't understand. Okay, you know what? Fuck it.
probably won't hit, don't care. Take the shot, you never know. Alright, um... I don't know what my team is doing. I, I, I don't know. The North Carolina is YOLOing in. Uh, Tashkent and Belfast are going in the opposite direction, and Fiji and Iowa are going south whenever they should be having their nose pointed towards that Turpins and Kanaisen now because they're long range ships! <laughs> but whatever. Um, oh, if I was smart, I actually would have stayed behind that island, but I'm not because I'm not smart and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Alright, so do I have enough to... Alright, so yeah, I'm going to do a U-turn here. And I'm going to do my best to get behind that cover right there. Um, Turpets... That did not have nearly enough lead. Alright. You're able to get on some more health. Right. Uh, this game is not going well in our favor. Where's that Algier? Alright. Alright, I can actually ride him. I can actually ride this island. I think. Can I? No, he's actually gonna outpace me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to actually go nose into him. Alright. Um, Algier is going to actually kill me at long range, but I do have a pretty significant uh, HP. kite because that's what French do. Alright, so when you're dealing with kiting ships, um, it's good to be humble and realize that uh, getting all your shells out at once are probably not going to hit anything. So when you're dealing with fast ships uh, that do this, kind of fan out a little bit. You're bound to hit a couple. See? Two fires. Now you should put them out. Yeah, they're already out. Alright, turpets. No, you're not my kill, but fuck you. Now, if he catches fire, he's dead. There you go. All right, now all it takes is time. Next in line for the throne, Lion. Um, I do still need to be careful. I don't want the Algier to get me broadside. Um, but it doesn't matter because fucking Otago Concealment. Alright, um, that Lion, I'm actually going to be able to get behind this island before the Lion spots me. Is he still burning? He's still burning. So, um, yeah. This is isn't oh he didn't die oh you boner okay oh god damn it okay um this is not good this is not good i was really counting on that fire kill in the algier okay and this lion is not going to come out Fucking punk. Oh, you fucking punk. Alright, you know what? That's okay. Spotted. Not spotted. Detected. Still detected. How am I still detected? What am I detected? It's the Harakazi. Ooh, that's a problem. Okay. Uh. Let's let's get some land between me and this uh, this lion here. I don't think this is a winnable game. But fuck it, we're gonna try. 
I can kill that lion and I can kill that Hirokazu. There's actually... So you're telling me there's a chance. Chances of us actually being able to do this are pretty slim and none. Oh, if I can spot that Hirokazu, though. Oh, if I can spot that Hirokazu, though. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, I am going to be able to. Okay, don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. You cuck. Actually, might have won that if I didn't fuck up and hit the hair. Oh, if I just hit the hair concert, that would have worked. <sighs> Whatever. So yeah, can't win them all. Um, here we see an example of the Otago. Damn good ship. Uh, not exactly tough, but um, damn good boat. Damn good boat. Um, I just wish I was a better shot. So yeah, uh, that's the Otago. This has been the Eternal Black. Uh, I really hope you liked the video, and um, yeah, I'm going to be putting out videos, hopefully one a week. Uh, I, I, I do work, but on my day off, I'll, I'll play until I get a good game in. Uh, I lost, we lost, but um, it's not the worst game I've ever had. It's far from the greatest, but whatever. Um, yeah, cheerio.